hi everyone and welcome to my channel today and uh, so for today's project I am going to be painting some little florals I have a couple of things that I want to have backgrounds for on social media and I wanted my florals to be the background so I thought I would do a quick little video and just show you how I go about creating mine I know you know there's so many videos out there of people painting flowers and everybody has their own little techniques so I wanted to um, just share mine with you today so if you could go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel I would really appreciate it and share my video with your friends and family that really helps me grow and I appreciate everything that all of you do so for today my materials list is very basic it's a piece of watercolor paper my number eight round Princeton brush and this brush does have a very fine point on it and that will be important for some of the little details that I'll be putting into my florals today and then I do have my paints uh, blotting towel and some water so um, I'm going to start out with some oranges and reds and my flower when I paint flowers I do like to have five petals I like that odd number and it's basically just a teardrop shape um, of a petal and I just kind of you know do, go around I don't mind if there's a little bit of white showing in in the flower petals and then I do like to put a few little wisps out there so I'll grab some more paint and there's very very little paint on my brush there's quite a bit of water and uh, when I do a lot of my flowers um, what I'll do is let these dry you know I, I paint very lightly and then I like to let it dry and go back and add another layer sometimes um, it is nice to blend some colors however on these that's not the look that I'm going for so with this one I'm just putting in three uh, flower petals because it's a side view of that particular flower and so and you can see I do a little wispy um, lines to give you know just a, a light hint of petals and I'm not I'm not real, um, I'm, I'm kind of loose with it. You know, they're not, they're not a set look. I'm kind of sloppy with them is what I am. <laughs> so my sloppiness is what I call a, a loose look. And, you know, we do want a few wisps. That kind of gives the hint of uh, maybe petals behind there. And then you can see like this it's a dark a little bit darker than some of the other petals and that's great you know we do want the different the different um, depths of color because flowers out in in the real world you know they do have different tones and colors to them and that's what adds to their beauty and so that's what we're doing here so now I did just grab a little bit of orange to add in um, to give it just a little bit different of a color. And you can see that's more of a, actually it's quite dark, isn't it? But that's the, that's the color of, that I mixed. It's not that it's heavy on my brush. Okay, so you can see they're pretty, pretty loose. You know, they're very abstract almost. And then this is going to be just three petals because it's another partial, you know, it's kind of like a side view. And then the center will be sticking up a little bit. And we'll add one here. And I'm trying to keep my hand away so that you can see exactly what I am doing with the brush. 
you can see I just kind of, you know, really squiggle the brush around. It's not like I'm doing anything real um, intended. The, the big thing is I just want to make sure that, you know, I have some of the little wispies. And that's why it's important to have a very fine point on your brush so that you can add some of those fine little um, wispy lines. And I think I'll put one up here. And then I'm going to, let me get a little bit of that paint off my brush. Okay, so that one got a little bit out of control, but that's okay. It's always good to have one wild one, right? All right, so then I think what I'll do is grab a little bit of my violet and kind of add it in with, with some of the um, red tones. And I'll give it a little bit darker of a look. I live on the Gulf Coast of Florida, and of course, um, you know, this time of the year, there's a lot of flowers that are blooming right now. And it, when I'm taking my walk, when I'm walking my dog, uh, we get to, you know, kind of check out the neighborhood and some of the beautiful gardens and the flowers. And uh, it's just, it's very nice. Now, I will say that the pollen levels right now are kind of high, but I, I think it's worth it <laughs> just to enjoy the flowers. Okay, so I want to, this one, There's you can tell that there's still an awful lot of um, water on that petal. So I'm just, what I'm doing is going in with my brush and kind of picking up some of that color so that it will dry a little bit quicker. Okay, so we have those and now I think what I'll do is uh, just grab some some of the violet and put in just a few flowers with the violet. And then a lot of these other ones, they're drying pretty nicely, so we'll be able to go back and add another layer, you know, of color onto those. And then also add some some of the middle uh, stamens in the flowers. And see, it just kind of make like a almost like a little teardrop shape, and then a little wisp with the side with the tip of the brush. And I'll do a couple more of these violet. There was an airplane going overhead, so I apologize for the noise. Probably spring breakers coming and going. It's that time of the year down here. And with the beaches, it's a popular area for spring breakers. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good for now. So I'm going to clean my brush off and then I'm going to uh, grab some of that red and I don't want a lot of water on my brush. And I'm gonna be using just the point of it, okay? Just the very tip of my brush. And so I'm gonna go back through and like on these first ones, I have more of just the solid uh, crimson on here. And I want to, from the middle, just kind of do some wispy little lines. And I think I want just a little bit heavier than that. Okay, and kind of work those out a little bit. And this is what gives the florals some depth. You know, and then with the, the darker color, I think it really adds a lot to the florals. And you don't have to use a lot, um, you know, and just keep it very, very minimal touch to the paper with the tip of your brush. All right, and then Let 
me grab just a little bit more paint on here. So you can see how they're really starting to come, pop and come to life already. And uh, we still got a lot more detail to add to it. They're going to be adorable when they're finished. So I want to kind of clean that off and I want to make sure that I dry my brush off pretty good. And then because now I'm going to add some of the other colors. So actually for the oranger um, flowers that I have on here, I'm going to grab some of the burnt sienna. That's going to be dark enough, I think, to really, yeah, see how nice that looks. Let me get just a little bit more of that. These are so fun to do. They're easy. Um, there's, They look like there's a lot of detail to them, and, you know, there kind of is. However, it's very relaxing sitting here and just kind of, you know, lightly working your brush into these flowers and, um, you know, having fun with it. And so, as I mentioned before, uh, if you are enjoying this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and uh, hit the like button, and then also hit the bell if you want to see when I have new videos uh, come up on YouTube. I do try and post two videos each week. And I like to do florals, I, ha I have a lot of whimsical designs out there and some abstracts. You know, I try and do a little bit of everything. I haven't done a whole lot of, well, I haven't posted a whole lot of landscape videos. And I used to actually paint a lot of landscape videos. I haven't been doing that lately because I was really focusing actually on um, greeting cards. And so I think in the near future, I'm not exactly sure when, but in the near future, I am going to see if I can't put up a few of the um, landscape videos. You know, some very easy, fun landscapes. You know, something something that it doesn't, you don't have to be super experienced to, to create them, and you can have a lot of fun doing it and build up your confidence. You know, that's really what it's all about, is just building your confidence. And I see from, you know, year to year, just with my own stuff, how I've improved. And on some of it, I don't even know if I could say improved, but maybe changed my, my look or my, you know, what I really like and what I enjoy doing. And I think that's a secret to a lot of this is just sitting here and painting what you really enjoy painting. And, uh, you know, there's, there's always something for everyone out there for sure. Okay, whoops, these got really dark. I like that. See how that... Okay, so I have all of the uh, little, I don't know, accent lines, I guess. Those all completed. So what I'm going to do now I do want a rather dark center for all of these. Um, so I'm going to use my indigo. And there again, a lot of paint on the tip of my brush, not a lot of water, and I'm just dabbing. And I wanna leave a little bit of white area um, in, in the centers, you know, to give it that character and depth and but yet still, um, you know, the, a little bit of character and depth and then not, not totally round because no centers are totally round. And then here's one of those side views of this particular flower. You can see I'm just kind of dabbing a little bit. And then here as well. And then we can add some stems and some greenery. When I don't know what to paint, and I but I feel like painting, this is what I do. I sit and paint flowers. I have got, 
I don't even know how many different little pieces of, <clears throat> excuse me, of watercolor paper with little flowers. These kind of flowers, and then I have bigger flowers, some that I grab a marker and I might outline them and make them, you know, more of a character or whimsical look. And so this is, this is just kind of, you know, a, something that I do to, for, to relax really. And it's also a great way to try out new brushes. When you get a new brush and you aren't sure exactly, you know, what it can do and how, how you get comfortable with it, it's, this is a great thing to do is just sit and paint flowers. So now for some of the green or, greenery, I'm grabbing some sap green and hooker's green. Um, for some of it, I'm gonna even add in just a hint of the indigo, you know, to give it some darkness. And so very lightly with the brush, you know, just adding some stems. And I'm gonna have them all coming down towards the bottom. Um, some of them are going to be rather long. And, um, you know, just, just kind of letting them all hang down a little bit, right? coming from all over, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so now that I have stems coming down from all over, I want to add some leaves. And to add the leaves, it's just, you know, a couple little strokes, one to two at the most. And the leaves don't have to be, you know, a perfect leaf shape. There can just be a little, a little baby leaf sticking out there. You know, and... There, see how, how fun those are? And so now I think I'm going to add just a little bit more of the indigo to this and for a little bit different of a color, a deeper, darker color. And see how quick, like it, just a couple little strokes is really all I'm doing with these leaves. Um, you know, they, they aren't like a perfect looking leaf. I don't think leaves out in the real world are perfect looking, at least not on my flowers. And I wish I was a little bit better of, of a gardener because truthfully I'm not. That's why I paint them. <laughs> They're easier. Okay. So I'm getting to the point where I feel like I'm just about done. I could keep adding green, you know, leaves and stems. Uh, you may want to go ahead and add some berries. That's always fun too, but I don't want to get too, too busy into it. Oh, and I do see one little flower here that I, looks like it doesn't have a, whoops, let me get that off of there. It doesn't look like it has a stem, so I think we should go ahead and Add a stem to this one for sure. And a leaf or two, right? There. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And as I had mentioned, I want to add this to as a background to some of my social media, whether it's my Instagram or my Facebook, maybe even onto my YouTube. Um, banner. I'm ready to change that up a bit. I do have some of the cute metallic flowers on there, but they've been on there a while and I'm ready for something uh, fresh and springy looking. So you may see this in the near future on my YouTube banner. And with that being said, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, if you could go ahead and do that now, I would greatly appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like 
and be sure to hit the bell and that way you will receive notice when I have new videos that I've posted. Go ahead and leave comments below. I absolutely love them. And um, until next time, ciao for now.